What's up everybody, Tony Koo here with Soul Guard and the Sneaker Syndicate. Uh, today we're going to show you how to Soul Guard your kicks. Now Soul Guard, if you don't know, is the number one resource to protect your asset. You know, uh, Soul Guard is definitely the solution and the number one solution for you. Uh, it roughly lasts about 15 miles and we're going to show you how to Soul Guard your kicks yourself. Very easy. You most likely get a package very similar to this. Um, you can order your soul bars at shieldyoursoul.com. Now let's go ahead and open up and see what we got here. Uh, each soul guard comes uh, custom to the shoe that you order it for. So we have a six um, custom cut for your J's. You got your special solution here. And you got your heel and toe guards. Uh, we're gonna some solution on the edges. Here. Take the, uh, the actual sole bar, we're going to apply it right over the top of it, dab a little bit. You don't want to put too much. You want to just brush it across the top there. See it um, trace the edges. It's good to do it in a well lit area. It for the application of the special solution. You also need a, uh, a heat gun, which is available again at shootersoul.com. You can see it's two. See how that works. You don't have to worry about uh, messing it up or anything because it really doesn't stick on there until you apply the, uh, the heat. So, Put it on there and it doesn't look right, it doesn't fit right. Go ahead and you know, don't be afraid to pick it up like I'm doing here. Obviously, you don't want any bubbles, so you want to go ahead and just make sure you get it on there. As you can see, it, it looks pretty good so far. I usually like to have a little bit of excess on the sides. So now that you got it on there, you want to go ahead and just apply your high heat gun. Uh, not too much heat, just a little bit. And then you'll, you know, you'll start to see how it uh, forms and dissolves towards the shoe. like to go around the edges first. Get a feel for it. Not too close, about two to three inches from the shoe. Make sure you get your air bubbles out. Get a feel for it. Make sure it's all in there. It's totally up to you. Well, now we're going to apply our heel and toe guard, which you know, just gives you a little extra 